Pow for now. The USGS says episode 28 of Kilauea's eruption lasted about nine hours and ended just before 1.30 this afternoon. The fountains reached more than 1,200 feet high, attracting large crowds to the crater. But when the fountains abruptly ended, crowds continued to gather with latecomers having to satisfy themselves with tales of grandeur. And our H&N viewer Scott Hansen captured this incredible video of a dust devil during the eruption today. Because the winds were light, the rising hot air swirled and gathered dirt and even tephra from the eruption. Our chief meteorologist Jennifer Robbins has more on the science behind this vortex. So fascinating to see. Usually when we have dust devils, it's from the heat of the day from the ground up. But in this scenario, we had fresh flowing lava from the eruption and it emits heat becoming an energy source. So the energy was derived from the lava itself. It has a big contrast from the cooler air above in the atmosphere, creating strong updrafts with that temperature contrast. And that's why we saw rotation today. The lava heats the surface, causing convection rolls near the ground and then before you know it you have this column of air the wind aloft are much stronger than at the surface which is fairly light when it comes to those winds at the surface and the column of air then convection tilts upright creating that um, vortex that we saw today and just to put it in perspective of this heat source of how hot lava really is sparklers burn at 1500 degrees that's hot enough to melt some of the metals Glass melts at 900 degrees, water boils at 212 degrees. When it comes to lava, the cooler it is, the more deep red it is. But then you see those bright yellows, we're talking about 1800 to 2100 degrees. And also the color of lava affects how fast it moves. The hotter it is, the faster it moves, the cooler it is, the slower it moves, making new land before our very own eyes. At least we have the trade winds the next couple of days. I'll take a deeper look at your VOG forecast coming up soon. Live to the Big Island now, where after nine hours of fountaining today, episode 28 of Kilauea's ongoing eruption has ended. Now here's what it looked like earlier. Lava emerged just after four this morning and reached heights of 1,200 feet. And far off in the distance, it looks like a tornado, but it's actually a dust devil. Scott Hansen sent us this video. Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Robbins has more on the phenomenon and how it differs from a tornado. Jen? Really incredible to see that image. We did see like a tornado, all of that debris that was whipped up, but very different from tornadoes. Tornadoes usually form with stronger upper level winds, rotating air column that you could see there, and also very strong surface winds. And we see that big contrast, and it's also derived from thunderstorms and the very strong updrafts from thunderstorms with that rotating column of air. In this situation, the heat source and the energy was derived from the lava lava itself. The lava adds heat to its surrounding atmosphere. At times like fire, it can create its own weather. And we had very cold air aloft and then very hot when it comes to the lava, bringing up all of those updrafts. Lava is made up of crystals, volcanic glass, and many gases as we know. And the brighter yellow and oranges the lava is, it's the hotter it is. So it was giving a lot of heat in this situation. Vortices form with the strong updrafts from the surrounding heat from the lava. And interesting enough, sometimes in this scenario with the heat source of lava at the surface, lava natos can develop within the lava. It's almost like these little vortices within it. So fascinating to see how hot lava can form its own weather. In the situation today, we got a dust devil or more like an ash devil. And you can see, Stephanie, unlike a tornado that forms from a supercell and cumulonimbus cloud from above. This is from the ground up from the lava's heat. Stephanie, you got a lava or Hawaii weather. All right. Yes. Thank you, Jen.